In recent months, mental health and suicide in Korea had been the spotlight once again after a series of celebrity deaths made headlines at home and overseas. Although suicide rates had been falling since it peaked in 2011, it took another jump up in 2018 and regained the unfortunate top spot among OECD countries after being second to Lithuania. Our next guest is someone who has been struck by this tragedy in his family, but in their memory set up a charity that aims to help raise awareness of depression and mental health in Korea, a subject that has often been seen as taboo. I'm glad to say that we have with us today founder and CEO of Stella Foundation, Mr. Cho Jae-hun. Thank you for coming on the show today. Thank you so much for inviting me. So can you tell us more about Stella Foundation and what it does? Mm. So Stella Foundation is an NGO for uh, prevent for the suicide and depression. Uh, we are awareness for the depression and uh, educate people what is the exact of the depression. And we also bring the... Uh, the treatment from another country so that Korean people can help uh, lots of different uh, treatment mm. than just uh, one side of it. Mm. Yeah. Can you explain to us where the name of the foundation comes from? So basically Stella means the stars in Latin. And in general, uh, uh, people normally when they have a, uh, friends or family who committed suicide or who has a feeling of depression, it's very hard to sharing their experience to other people. Mm. So they feel ashamed or feel very like, uh, doesn't want to open up. But we want to change the perspective because it's very brave to, to share. Mm. So we want to uh, make them feel more uh, brave. So like a stars. Mm. So people who can uh, willing to share and then that will bring a more uh, help to themselves or to others. So that's why we wanted to make it in a, in a SARS. Right, but also I understand uh, you're also having to be very brave here as well because uh, Stella Foundation, Stella is also, understand, the Christian name of uh, your mother ah, yeah. who passed away. Yeah, so um, yeah, um, I'm also, um, I don't know how to say in English, my mom. Uh, also committed suicide six years ago and yeah to name it how should I do it and mm. then her name was also Stella right so right in why. Korean when mm -hmm. you get uh, baptized at a, uh, a Catholic church mm -hmm. you get given a Christian name yeah I understand Stella what's that Christian name for your mother mm -hmm. right that's true I mean there are many ways that one can deal with such a tragedy as losing a mother through mm -hmm. this way but then what made you decide that you wanted to start a charity? Yeah, so um, when when I lost my mother uh, by suicide, uh, it was very hard. Eh? Mm. Absolutely, it was really hard, especially to open up like in this kind of radio show. It took me more than yeah five years mm. to uh, public in in this kind of KBS radio show. Mm. It's very hard still, uh, I'm trying, but um, mental health should be um, open. And I really don't want to uh, do this kind of mistake again mm. that couldn't even help to my family. Also, um, there are still a lot of people who is uh, having this kind of a, a problem, uh, feeling inside of their uh, mind. And the charity is kind of, N is, it is an NGO, the not government based. Mm. So we want the Korean people to uh, open up by themselves and making our own uh, community to getting uh, help each other. Mm. That's why I think it's uh, very important to people who is having a hard time in their uh, in mind to getting uh, support from each other mm. uh, from their pain. That's why I'm starting the uh, charity. How severe an issue is depression and suicide in Korea compared to other countries? How is it? I gave a few statistics mm -hmm. earlier on saying how Korea has the most uh, highest suicide rate among OECD countries. But yeah. can you explain for us in your own words? All right. So the suicide, absolutely, like we, as I was, was like mm, elementary school, it was already uh, 
increasing. Mm. And when I was in high school, also we've been hearing a lot of time that Korea is one of the number one suicide country in OECD. Um, and actually, I didn't really think about it, if this is going to happen to my family. Right, right. And then uh, when I look it up, it was more than like really serious because uh, for the past 10 years, the people who committed suicide is more than the people who died from the Korean War of the Korean soldier. The South Korean soldier uh, died from the Korean War. was uh, even more than that. So every year, uh, 13,000 people are taking their own life. And for the depression, uh, it's, uh, in the 2016 OECD uh, state statistic, it's uh, around over 1.2.1 uh, million people are suffering from depression. So it is very like, high rate of the mm. uh, mental health problem in South Korea. In your experience working with the foundation, mm -hmm. and, and I understand you've done a lot of research going into other countries as well, trying to find out about how they deal with uh, mental health issues and depression. Yeah. In your experience, why do you think South Korea has this problem? What is it about Korea, do you think, mm -hmm. that uh, people decide to take this route? Um, it, it is very uh, complex, ov obviously, because mental health is uh, many different ways of uh, people get uh, infected. Mm. But is it more about the social uh, pressure, especially Korea uh, from like, past, like my grandfather's generation was one of the poorest country mm. uh, at the time. But after we, you know, working so hard and also getting lots of support, mm. um, now we are not... Uh, Like, uh, we are not dying by hunger, mm. but it's easier to uh, compare with each other because before, uh, back in the day, uh, when we are poor, it's really uh, everybody's goal is like overcome of this hunger. Mm. But after when we are full, like now it's time to see uh, what we have. Mm. So very easy to compare and. Also, the internet in Korea is very, you know, easy to uh, compare each other. Sure. So many things uh, can be i f f e c t but we believe that the social comparison is one of the key reasons that people get i f f e c t of the uh, depression and so on. As we mentioned in the beginning, uh, recently there have been several celebrities yeah. that uh, we understand have died through suicide, such mm. as uh, K-pop stars, s o l l i and Guhara, as well as the up-and-coming actor Cha In-ha. What was your reaction when you heard those stories? And what do you make mm. of the people's reaction to these stories? Yeah. Um, so when the Korean celebrity or even the celebrity in any other country taking on their own life, uh, the, the citizens get a lot of shock. Because on their uh, page, we see uh, all their super like, awesome. Uh, they get a lot of attention, uh, wearing amazing uh, things, mm. eating nice things. have many friends around them. It seems like it. But when they're taking their own life, we get shocked mm. because we always look up to them. Uh, so when the celebrity taking their own life, uh, like normal citizen also is in fact a lot. So this time when the s o l l i and other celebrity were taking their own life, it was very, um, like, very, very uh, dangerous. to how the media uh, report mm. of uh, we shouldn't sp speak about how they're how they, uh, taking own life, not the way. Um, but I think it was uh, even shocking for me because s o l l i was younger than me. Mm. Um, it was my first time to hearing about the news that who is younger than me taking their own life was very shocking. Mm. So I went to their funeral and to see Uh, yeah, I understand you went to her funeral yeah. uh, to, to show support as, as part of this uh, yeah, exactly. NGO as well. And, Let's, mm -hmm. Can we talk more about uh, NGO, the mm -hmm. Stella Foundation, before we go? How has the Stella Foundation been raising awareness on these issues and what have been your achievements so far? Yeah, so um, we want to bring... Uh, I think the, the biggest achievement that we did for the Stella Foundation was making this NGO of uh, depression and suicide of the... very heavy topic into a, a more like fun way to uh, open up. Mm. So we um, organized the REOK Day in, uh, in Seoul 
uh, for two years. Uh, we bring this uh, from Australia uh, in a like more fun way to open up, so that people can ask mm. to know how to ask people, "Are you okay?" Uh, in a simple step, and and we want to uh, to make a r a n g e for the gala, uh, for to support the people uh, who can open up of their feeling. Uh, so that we make them feel more like a brave way. Right, right. Yeah. The Are You OK Day was a way to uh, holding events, uh, speakers, and uh, f- uh, raising awareness of ways to tackle depression and mental health. Mm-hmm. Very briefly, finally, we're quickly running out of time. What are the future plans for the foundation? Uh, we want to uh, make uh, people to connect more, uh, to uh, su- support from the volunteer, also p s y c h i a t r i s t and uh, psychology. Uh, So we want to reach them instead of they asking for help. So, so we're make, making a data to, uh, to make them to uh, get support way faster than right now. Mm. That's what uh, we are doing with uh, people from our expert. We'll have to end it there. We've been speaking to Mr. Cho Jae-hoon, founder and CEO of the Stella Foundation. Thank you for sharing your story with us today. And we wish you all the best on your efforts going forward as well. Thank you so much for inviting me.